Uh, hi, in this video we are going to see how to use load static resource in MuleSoft. So in order to do that, I'll just quickly create a simple Mule application. I'll just go and create a new Mule project with the name load static resource demo. And then I'll just click finish. So for this one, uh, how I'm going to trigger the process or how I'm going to trigger the Mule application, I'm going to use a HTTP listener. So once I have a listener, I'm going to add one more thing. Uh, so mostly primarily you might have used listener in order to receive the request or you might have used HTTP request in order to send any request to any kind of external web service. But you might have not sure uh, what is this load static resource. So that is what we are going to see today. So I'll just drag and drop that load static resource into our canvas. And uh, first I'll configure this my listener with some name. First, I'll leave everything with the default port, which is 8081. And also, I'll give a HTTP default port. I'll give OK. So here, I can give any uh, resource endpoint. For this one, I'll just give simply HTML. So you can give any resource name. I'll give HTML. And also, I'll just change the display name. So this is HTML. And then I'm just going to leave this one with the get method. And also, I'll just go to the advanced and then I'll specify here as a get and then I'll come here and uh, here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to configure some resource base path here uh, so basically we are going to give a path of this particular resource folder okay so whatever the resource folder is there we are going to give the path till that particular point and uh, also I'm just going to create some HTML pages here where I'll just create a file like new file and here I'll just name it like input.html okay so this is my uh, new html page which will open uh, browser you just close it and then i'm going to type some html content here and this is the html file we are going to refer it here okay so this particular one i'll just open with text editor you can give any content so i'll just simply give some um, static html pages i'll start with html so and then i'll just give body here you can write any content okay so in html any tag whatever you start it has to end okay so similarly i have started html i ended it here body i have started and body i have ended it so here i'm just going to give a paragraph and then i'll say this is my sample input dot html page so this is just a description as we have started a, the paragraph tag i'll close that as well okay so this is input dot html so you can name anything but whatever your name you are going to give that is the one you are going to configure it here. So this particular path, till that particular path, I have to give it in a resource base path. I'll just go and uh, take the path. So uh, I'm going to my workspace location. So this is my workspace. And I just created a project with load static resource, source, main, and resources. So this is the path we have created a input.html. I'll just copy this path and then i'll paste it here okay and i'll save it and i'll start the project now so this is running in a html resource endpoint with the get method okay so meanwhile i'll just go to the browser in the browser what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use localhost 8081 and i have given an endpoint as html and this is a get method and uh, once the application is deployed i'm going to open that particular or I'm going to call our HTTP listener from browser. Okay, so so that you know we can see it's able to load the static resource. So whatever the static resource we are referring here, we are trying to load this index.html page, which is available in this location, which is nothing but this particular file. This particular file simply it's having one paragraph which is saying this is my sample input.html page. So I'll just go to the console and see my application is deployed or not. Yeah, it's deployed. Now I'll just go and run it from the browser. If it is successfully executed, then what will happen? It will be able to load the your resource. But it's not loading here. So I'll just go and see what is the problem. So basically it's saying it's not found. So this is a path till SRC main resources. And then I'll just go to the path and see what is wrong. Okay. Input.html is correct only and then src main resources the path everything is correct only i 
index.html file is there properly meanwhile i'll just go to this path see here this is a html page only even if you open it's coming so this is a path only we gave correct i'll just copy the path and paste it again and see we have done anything wrong so i gave it here and uh, here now i just trying with the till html page and then i'll just come to the console yeah it's deployed now so i'll just run it again from the browser so in the i'll just close this browser and whatever the browser i have opened i'm just going to refresh it from there see here now it's saying there's a path there's a error okay so it's saying illegal character and i'll just go and see uh, the entire path what do you copy see here i have copied this file triple colon as well accidentally which i deleted it now and then i'll just go to the console the application whatever we have changed it right it's getting redeployed because the application is already running where we are making some changes and saving it see here the application has started now i'll try to refresh this one see here now the html page it's referring the content which is available in the index.html so here i just put the simple content right so even you know you can go and change this to somewhere in the bold character and then you know you can change bold and then you can give any kind of uh, heading kind of things as well so that you know it will become big and then you can see the difference in the html text so i'll just uh, refresh this one see here i refreshed it so this is my sample input.html page so because i have added some bold text and also heading one as well so this is a simple html page so what is happening so when we receive the request it's redirecting as to the index.html page which we have configured here and when it is not able to load this file and you can give a default file here which you load uh, insert uh, if there are any issue in this particular file then it will be loading this particular file which is available in the same directory so now what we have done i just put a simple text in this one instead i'll just add some uh, form page so for that i'll just try to uh, find some content from online form html code and then i'll go to the w3 school site and you see here first name last name submit and uh, some kind of code is there which i can try or i can copy the content from this particular page if you scroll down you'll be able to see the form with the submit button with a label called first name this particular example layout whatever you see here right this is the code so i'll just copy the code and i'll come to any point studio i'm just going to change this body content i'm just going to replace this with form so now this one right uh, it's having first name last name and there's a submit button whenever there's a submit right it's going to this particular page but we don't have this page but whenever i submit i wanted to go to the another page where i'll say thank you dot html okay so this is the page i wanted to route it to so for that what i'll do that i'll create one more page here with a thank you dot html file thank you dot html i'll click finish it will open a browser which i'll close it and then i'll open this with editor only right click open with text editor and i'll just uh, have this file html and then i'll simply put thank you message in the body body i'll end the body tag here i'll say thank you for submitting the data okay so this is the response message which i want to print so what we can do is uh, whenever the request comes here it's going to the index.html which is nothing but this index.html which is having a code and going to thank you.html instead what i'll do i can take it to some other okay first we'll try this one and see what is happening and the application has been saved and uh, deployed and i'll try to run this one again it's showing the form data this is because index.html having a first name last name and also submit button so now if i wanted to submit first name last name with tech lightning and i'll submit it it's redirecting to thank you.html which is there in this particular application okay and then there's a thank you.html but again here right uh, 
and also whatever the attributes we are passing it here right it's going to that particular page as well so instead of redirecting to html page i'll redirect to our mule application itself and then i'll try to gather this information and i'll print it in a logger so in order to do that what i'll do i'll just go to this page instead of this particular page so normally when we receive a request right how do we receive it you receive it in a endpoint right similarly i'm going to create a one more endpoint i'll drag and drop the listener down and i'll say this listener right i'll just say my endpoint as thank you okay and then i'm going to use the same http listener here what i'm going to do i'm just to going to add some transform message because whatever the data which we send it right it's coming because you just click this load static resource whatever the attributes right that's going to the page which we are submitting okay so now what i'm going to do in this index.html i'm going to submit to the endpoint call or you can give it like this also http localhost colon 8081 slash thank you this is my endpoint okay this, this is endpoint my thank you is endpoint and now i'll just come here and this is a thank you endpoint i'll just copy this and i'll put it in the display name as well so once i receive it right the attributes values are coming here which i'll extract it and also i'll just change this to json and i'll say my first name colon which is coming in attributes attributes cori param cori param i'll just uh, type it again cori params dot and i'll just go and see the exact field name which is there here which is this one f name and next one is l name and i'll just uh, give that value because we are extracting from the attributes this is the f name for the the input called first name and i'll just add a comma and then i'll say last name and then i'll just go give attributes query params dot l name so this is what the field name for that particular text box so now i have given it and uh, this is a json data i'll just try to see yeah the spelling is wrong so that's why there is a one issue found it saying and i saved it now whatever it's coming right i just wanted to print it i'll say logger and here what i'll do i'll just click this expression mode i'll change it to payload and then i'll save everything so now what will happen it will load the resource which will have a form and whenever they we submit that form the requester will come to this thank you endpoint and it will extract the data from the attributes which is submitted in the form and then finally it will print it okay so still i invoke this thank you.html so we will see the output for until this point the logger is getting printed or not so now the application is started i'll go and uh, invoke our initial page which is nothing but html so html and here first name last name is there i'll try to submit it see here the payload it's extracting the first name and last name and also you come to your console you'll be able to see that is getting printed because we have a logger and whatever the payload we extracted it with from the attributes from the query parameter that's getting printed here as well so now it's uh, with the default value i'll just go again and uh, give my resource endpoint here i'll just type with tech last name as lightning and then i'll click submit you'll be able to see that payload and also it's coming to your console as well so now uh, what is happening it's receiving a request and it's loading a index.html which is uh, having two different fields for your form and once you submit we are submitting the action with the thank you endpoint and it's coming to the thank you endpoint with all the attributes details which we are extracting it here and finally we are printing it here still if you wanted to go to this thank you.xml instead of this particular page i wanted to print some other uh, html right so what i can do i'll just try to copy this content i'll just select and right click and copy or you can do edit and you can copy as well and i'll just paste it here similarly you can control v it will paste and then i'll just change this uh, index.html at the end is there right there i'm going to change it like 
thank you dot html so that whenever i'm going to run that it's going to come here and it's going to print this data okay and also it will invoke whatever it is there in the particular flow so it will come here first it will come here it will load the html page and it we will fill the data when we submit it it will come here and then it will extract the data from the attributes and it will print in a logger and finally it will print the thank you dot html message okay because uh, this is a default file only but this is the actual path so now i'll just go to the console and see the application has been started or not yeah it started so i'll just go to the browser and i'll just type my endpoint which is html and here i'll just give arul alphonse and then i'll try to submit it see here thank you for submitting the data so now it is redirecting us to the different html page which is nothing but thank you dot html and also if you go and see our logger right our logger message will get printed similarly you can type any kind of data again and you can test it as well and i'll say uh, first name is hello last name is world then if i submit it you'll be able to see thank you for submitting the data and you'll be able to see the logger it's printing it so this way you can uh, show the static html content in your mule application in order to uh, achieve any kind of use cases thank you